So in this next part of the course, I am going to show you how to add a border to our complex sprites using a fragment shader. But before we go ahead and do that, let's learn how to create a circle inside GLSL, which will replicate our sprite. And then whatever changes you make to that circle, so when we add a border to that circle, we can copy and paste that code from here into HaxFlixel. And so the reason we're doing that here, instead of doing it directly on HaxFlixel, is that if we use the GLSL canvas, we benefit from the error checking that it provides that HaxFlixel does not give. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's create a new file and let's call it circle test dot frag. So in this file, we're just simply going to create a circle. And that process is fairly simple in terms of creating shapes in GLSL. But the code for it does look quite complicated and it's very mathematical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the code here first with very little explanation of what's going on. And then once the code has finished, I'm going to go through it line by line, explaining what each line does. First of all, let's copy this preprocessor macro, which we need for all our shaders and put it inside here. And let's write uniform fec2 u underscore resolution, which will provide the resolution of our page. And let's create a function above our main function. So we'll call that a float and that will be circle shape. And that will take in two arguments, we'll take a float, which is a radius, and a vec2, which is the position. And what that will do is we're going to need a float called value, and that will take distance, position, it'll take this position here. So we'll, we'll run this distance function, which will take this position, and it will take a vector2, which will be 0.5. And then with that value, we're going to return a step function, which will then take this radius, then this value. Cool. So with that done, we're going to go ahead and create our void main entry function. And we're going to have a variable, which will be a vec2. And we'll call that pixel chord with two O's, which will equal gl underscore frag Frag chord x y. We'll divide that by the u resolution, and we're gonna have another variable called circle width. For now, we'll make that zero point two, and we're gonna have another variable called circle, which will take our circle shape function that we wrote above, and we'll pass the circle width, which will be the radius, and the pixel coordinate, which will be the position. And with this value, we're going to have a color variable. So we'll have a vec3 called color. And that will be vec3 uh, circle. And then what we're going to do is going to have a gl underscore frag color. And that will be vec4 color 1.0. Cool. Let's see if that worked. Okay. There we go. So as you saw there, the benefit of the GLSL canvas error checker showed that I was spelling returning correctly. And when I did, it showed the circle. Okay, let's go ahead now and explain what each line is doing. Thanks for watching this video. And if you don't want to wait till next week to get a detailed explanation of what's going on in this code, then please check out the description for the Udemy link, which will have all the videos for this course available right now.